and Professor John McKendrick from the Department of Social Sciences. Working from home is interesting. Some of the challenges you face, I think, are the, the, the challenges that you have already. It's just that the situation makes them, you know, supercharged. So if you're somebody that finds it difficult to manage your time, then, you know, without the, the routine that you have back at the campus, then that's going to be much bigger. If you're somebody who finds it difficult to switch off, then again, it's very difficult to switch off because there's no separation of home and work. So I, I think they've been challenging. I think the other challenges that we've had to face, I think, are to do with, you know, just managing others too. You know, other, others are finding it difficult and you've got to accommodate that. You've got to be understanding of the challenges that your colleagues and your students are facing. But I think uh, you get in the swing of things. I, I, I am now in a, a new habit, a new routine, uh, and that routine's working for me. Well, for at least half of my adult life, I've been the parent of a preschool child. And for about a third of my adult life, I've been the parent of a teenage child uh, because my children are, are, are spaced out in years. And I am so glad just now that the child that's in the house just now is, is neither. Um, she's 10 years old, she's the primary seven uh, age group, and uh, she manages herself well. So we don't get the teenage troubles, you don't get the intensity that comes with, with uh, being a parent of a young child. Uh, and I am very, very fortunate, I think, much more so than many of my colleagues. I mean, I've been impressed with how students have coped. I think that's the first thing to say. It's, it's, it's not the university experience that they'd signed up for. So you know, that's, that's a big help to us, is the fact that students have, are, are themselves made the best of the situation. Um, students are, are getting in touch with you the way they always did. They send you emails at two o'clock on a Saturday morning. Uh, you know, they, they, they work all hours, so they're, they're as, as active as they ever have been. Um, I think that the, obviously some students are finding it a bit more difficult with the family situation. You know, if you're trying to juggle home life, work life, student life, and it's all in that one space, then, then that's really difficult. Even though some of the younger students, I think, have found it difficult too. It's, it's, it's not what they were expecting. They were expecting to be meeting new people, to be doing new things, and here they find themselves doing their university degree from their bedroom. So, you know, it's been challenging, but I, th I think they've helped us uh, make it a lot easier than it could have been. University is made up of people, people with different roles, and I, I can think of so many people that have helped me, supported me over the course of the last year. I think, if anything, it's, it's brought our department closer together. I think we've got a, a stronger sense of purpose. So, in lots of different people, in lots of different ways, I think, are, are supporting each other. I, I've been productive over the last year. I'm thinking really selfishly about it. This is probably the year where I've written more words and produced more reports than any other year in my career because of the two-hour commute hasn't it been part of my working life and I've maybe struggled to break down that homework balance. But, and it's a big but, um, I'm looking forward to getting back to teaching face-to-face. Uh, -face. I'm looking forward to more creative research results. You know, when you, when you meet with people, ideas spark off each other and I think the results are better. So in many ways, I think we will work better when we get back to campus. And yeah, absolutely, I'm looking forward to that.